Hello, my name is Marlene Burkhardt. I'm a volunteer at the Harris County Branch Kingwood Library, and I would really like to recommend Robert Harris, The Ghost. Robert Harris is one of my favorite authors. He wrote Fatherland, and this is very topical. It's a book about a ghost writer who gets involved in politics in present-day England. It, the character is just wonderful, and the twist in the book keep you very interested. I will say also it's going to be, I've heard it's going to be made to a movie with Pierce Bosman, so I'm very much looking forward to see how they make it into a movie. If you like topical mysteries, you will enjoy The Ghost by Robert Harris. Hi, I'm Miss Connie, and most of you know that I'm the children's librarian, but today I'm going to tell you about my favorite, favorite, favorite piece of adult nonfiction. And those of you that know me know that I don't read dull books, and I don't read nonfiction. But I like this book so well that I bought my own copy. And it's called The Year 1000, What Life Was Like at the Turn of the First Millennium, An Englishman's World, by Robert Lacey. And it's very interesting, they've, they've organized it according to the calendar so that each month it has different things of what happens during that month. This is kind of like history for people who don't like history because it tells you all kinds of interesting things like we tend to think of people as, as um, starving in the wintertime and having lots of food in the summer, but that wasn't true. They ate and partied and had a good time in the winter after the harvests were in. And in the summertime, the, the food was gone and the harvest hadn't come in, so they called July the starving time. And what's more, they got mold in the grain and it acted like LSD, so whole villages were freaked out. And what's more, if you ever, if the, the country was so heavily forested that if you ever left sight of your village, you might never ever get back there again. But it was very interesting. It had things about medicine, for instance, if you were sick, the devil's elves shot you with arrows, and so you were elf shot. Um, but it's a very interesting book for, for people who like to know how people lived and what they did. It's very readable, and for those of you that are stuck on scholarly footnotes, it does have some in the back that tells where they got their information, if you truly want to know. This is really good. Hello, I'm Christy Whittington, a staff member at the Kingwood Branch Public Library. My pick is Sugar Queen by Sarah Addison Allen. This is her second novel, and it is just as charming as her first one. In this, she tr tracks several young women, and you find that they are possibly intertwined, that they are somehow connected. The families are very dysfunctional, but that makes it all the more charming. The setting is North Carolina and the Appalachians. It gives you a feel for the area, and it, this is something I highly recommend, as I would recommend all of her books. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jim Johnson. I am a staff member here at the Kingwood Branch Library. I wanted to talk about a book that's not a new book, but nonetheless one that I read recently that I really enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to be making a trip to Venice very soon in Italy, and uh, the book I wanted to mention was uh, The City of Falling Angels by John Barrent, who's best known for his book Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Uh, if you enjoy travel memoirs, if you enjoy reading about places that you're going to be going or visiting outside of the country or even in the country, um, if you're going to be going to Venice or Italy or someplace near that, uh, this is a book I'd highly recommend. The overarching story deals with uh, the uh, destruction and the fire of the famous Venice Opera House. Uh, but uh, within that story, while, while that's the overarching story, uh, he details and covers uh, many of the, the colorful and interesting kinds of characters that you'd meet in Venice and even covers some of the history. Very interesting read. Uh, Highly recommend it, especially if you're a travel enthusiast. Uh, check it out at Kingwood Branch Library.